So this is Conviction. I hope y'all enjoy it. All rise for the honorable judge. Court is now in session. Didn't he say all rise? <laughs> you may be seated. <laughs> Members of the jury, your duty today is to determine whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty based solely on the evidence and facts presented in this case. How many of you know the requirement and the evidence of true salvation? You confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, and you are saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth someone confesses, resulting in salvation. I know the truth, and it is in defense of that truth that I plan to reveal that prosecution has no evidence to convey otherwise. But beware of those who want to attempt to L.A. smog minds, prepare to witness pollutant emissions, discharge with no hope to discharge my client. Today I will clear the air, and you will completely and precisely see that my client is not guilty. It seems to be that salvation or that which we have come to call Christianity has become more hellish than halos. We as a people don't know what it truly means to be saved, to be righteous, to be as white as the ghosts most of you don't have. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord, and this man is nothing more than broken braille, and for that reason, I can assure to you that I will prove that he is as guilty as they come. Young man, you're being charged with not being a Christian. How do you plead? Not guilty. Obviously, we know, you're, we know you're a devout Christian. Can you explain to the jury your commitment to God and the extent of your faith? I feel like my faith be solid rock, an anchor of sorts, a grinning sky that can't be moved by midnights clothed in black robes and terror. Yes, I make mistakes, but I honestly believe there's no evil buried beneath these bones, no sick or ill will affecting my healthy soul. I'm just here to clear my name. Name the location you were on these dates in question. September 22nd, 2013. Church. October 5th, 2014. Church. April 12th, 2015. Church. And even February 14th, 2016. Church. Your Honor, clearly you can see my client has vowed his life to his Lord. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, don't allow your mind to be flooded when it comes to true covenant, where the true meaning of a man's promise can be distorted. Praise God for your commitment to community. But just because the calendar knows your name most Sunday mornings doesn't mean the sun still shines on you. In fact, we all knew that to be the case the time the sky and your spine fell back to welcome an early midnight. The day is it the only thing that needs salvation. In light of that, please tell us, on your way to church, what music were you listening to? Well, I'm an old soul, so it's nothing like the rich sound of Marvin Gaye that dropped the calm in after the hectic day has given you us all. The silence of the empty road greeting you like an old friend you haven't seen in years in your car becomes a floating time machine. But most times, after Bible study, you can hear my trunk shouting songs from 2 Chains and Meek Mills. They go hard. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, did you hear him? Hypocrisy sounds real good, don't it? With all of its bass and blood and bullets but shoot. It's just music, right? It is proven that a godly man don't dance with demons unless he's in love with the flames. What kind of Christian listens to secular music? Objection, Your Honor. The question is argumentative. Prosecutor, you will not run game in my court. <laughs> I'm still coach. Keep playing foul, and I'll sit you out quicker than two sprained ankles. Objection sustained. Thank you, Your Honor. Would you say that you set your mind on things above? Yes. Then please tell us about the last time you fought with the moon in your prayer closet. Huh? Or how about the time the stars followed you home? What you mean? What do I mean? Well, it's obvious to me that you are more earth than you think. Exhibit A. Look at your clothes. <laughs> they are all things dust and continent, and I am confident that you, sir, are worldly. Objection, Your Honor. No, 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 no. 
wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not here for that. We are not here for that. He gonna wear what he wanna wear in the name of Jesus. Amen? 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 Right. I'd rather my client fight with the moon than the sun. He has never gone more than 1,040 miles per hour in a residential. For anyone to try to equate the weight of my client's heart based on what he wears is as smart as men who try to blame women for their lack of modesty when it's them who are commanded not to look on a woman with lust. Amen? Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Prosecution is proven to be nothing but an invisible line attempting to divide. If anyone is worldly, it is the prosecution who carries these characteristics, not my client. Objection, Your Honor. Objection sustained. Now, let's discuss your fiance. What is her first name? Jesse. Last name? Bell. Did you just say Jezebel? I said Jesse Bell. Her name is Jesse Bell. The girl's name is Jesse. Jesse Bell. Now, where does this Jesse Bell live? Three six more Sin Way. And where do you live? Oh boy. <laughs> There's no condemnation. Just answer honestly. It's so fun. where? Me and my girl saving our cash for covenant. I can't afford to live in another place. Answer the question. Besides, how are two strange beings made from earth and not somewhere far eternal supposed to know that they're soulmates? I've kept her close to my side to know if she's truly my real. Answer the question. I'm answering your question. Yes, the sun greets me and my soon-to-be wife with a forehead kiss every morning. And no, we're not two reckless tornadoes and heat constantly collided beneath our sheets like you paint us to be. Judge, tell him to answer the question. Look, sit down and answer the question. Yes, if you must know, occasionally we have you sex, sex with, with each, each other, other, don't you? I'll rest my case, Your Honor. Your Honor, they are engaged to be married. I mean, in the eyes of God, aren't they not, I mean, somewhat already married? I mean, no sin is greater than the other. Are we seriously going to allow the state, a piece of paper, a ceremony to validate marriage over God? Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, for you are not your own, for you have been brought with a price. Therefore, glorify God with your body. But oh no, this man, your honor, has shown himself not to be anything like church, but rather like the brick that holds it, only good for keeping other souls warm. Be ye holy, be ye holy as I am holy. Sure, we should strive for that, but God knows we will sin, right? Or, or have you never sinned? Better yet, let me ask a better question. Are there stones in your pocket right now that you're just dying to throw? <laughs> Listen, God loves you, and there's no hole you've fallen into that's so deep that God's arm isn't long enough to stretch down and pull you right out of. <laughs> and he hates sin. His holiness ain't hopscotch with chalk flesh. You keep skipping out of every bloody box you were commanded to sit in and watch the ground make a noose out of you. You are a hanging myth. You turn grace into a game, something not to be played with. Her tongue is a hungry cemetery. Her mouth is soil craving corpses. A bloody box searching for the depiction of death right in her throat, burying bodies alive right in her backyard of legalism. You honestly believe you can earn your own salvation, don't you? Faith without works is dead. The scripture doesn't lie. The only scripture you probably know is judge, judge not lest you be judged. judged. God is love and your heart is absent of it. You look like sure you're the one that needs to work you out your salvation, salvation with fear and trembling. You don't fear God. You think you are God. Order. You look from the pendulum so far left, but it's right. It's left. No, you're, you're in pride. pride. It's lies you believe leading you to treat and teach and preach people away from the truth. Order. Just confess. You're out of context. context. Check the text and see that you don't love like you think you do because you refuse to tell him the whole truth. Order in the court! Enough! Hypocrite. You hiss with such joy, accusing brethren. It makes me wonder how long it took you to slither here by belly. If you coiled yourself with the same standards in which you used to boa constrict him, you'd be on death row before the end of his sentence, period, and you. You fed this young man lies in his sleep, tofu grace, false meat for dreams, which could never satisfy but leave him with a stomach empty of hope and a soul starving for brimstone. You both have disgraced yourselves and my courtroom. I have no choice but to ask you to leave. But, but Your Honor, he's, he's a, a saint. Now. Come on around here. Come here.
I dismissed the lawyers because I wanted us to speak personally. Look, I know, I know your past could never be considered a box of sunshine neatly gift-wrapped with amens, but do you honestly believe the world's oblivious to your dirty laundry? You've assumed yourself washed and rinsed, but a full cycle requires spin, and you can't prove your life's been turned around, young man. Why do you really think you're here? Well, I feel like I'm here because the world has more open palm and the grace to give than most church folks. People like that prosecutor want me to be more perfect than human. Like I'm not a good person with a duffel bag full of mistakes like the rest of the saints. It's true. Your prosecutor welds mirrors into windows, too prideful to see her wrong, so she looks outside to find it in others. And your defense exchanged divine diction for doctrines of demons, sugar-coated death for diabetic hearts, but my question was for you. I know my daily vocabulary doesn't consist of a slew of hallelujahs, but it doesn't mean I don't have a praise deep down in my marrow. Yes, I sleep with my girlfriend from time to time, but we pray right afterward. Just because I'm not a cloud, heavy and weeping over my sin, I too am a wound disguise succumbing to the blows of its storms, I know. In fact, let me tell you a story. In the beginning, sovereign vocabulary crafted a universe light was birthed with speech from a being who breathed heaven on earth called Eden a garden. Settled on the same dust used to mold man, man who bore the image of infinite, then it happened. Clay sinned against its potter, paving the path for a day, a day when majesty would descend from the heights of glory and dress himself finite. It was the day hope had a face, the day truth walked side by side with men, when omnipotence surrendered to the death he predestined on a tree he planted by the blood-soaked hands of the dirt he sculpted never until this day had it been deemed tragic for a rose to wear thorns. A curse for a crown on the head of a body that housed holy, hanging bloody, forbidden with a heart. A heart that beat and stopped for a moment. A moment such as this. A moment when someone like you would recognize he is indeed clay, cracked and rebellious, with a God-hating heart, taking refuge in his chest, underwear he's standing at the gate, face to face with the door, eyes locked on the key. Your Honor, I don't know why that story just sucked my heart, but, but for the first time I see myself filthy through the lens of your presence. You seem more holy than mere judge. And now I'm not black boy, bold, beautiful like I thought I was. I'm an ugly sinner, deserving a tombstone, bearing my name proud as a rebellion. I will on my chest. I'm not worth the, the grace, grace I ask for. ask for, I give freely. I am judge. I am lawyer. I am counselor. I am friend. I am 9-11 destruction with the suicidal soul. But I am carpenter. Rugged wood and nails have built a Sabbath of my presence. Will you rest in me? I have hurricane ways. I make servant of the wind and treadmill of the waves. I am nothing you want. I am everything you need. Your Honor. Your Honor, you speak with the authority that curls my heart into hope. But are you living water enough to quench this thirsty soul of a man? Be honest. Who are you? I am that I am. My Lord, forgive me. I thought we were friends, but I see now my sins has been a Judas kiss falling soft on your cheek. Like a rosebud hitting the concrete, drenched in deceit, I reek of betrayal and the stench is staining my conscience, constantly causing my godly conviction to turn into condemnation. Condemnation crumbles with confident confession to your confidant. I am capable to complete you. If I constructed constellations, I had the credentials to cleanse you. But my, but my hands drip heavy with blood-colored guilt. It's not about what you've done. It's about who you are. 
It's not about who you are. It's about what you've done. I disrobed myself of perfection. Willingly drank of my father's wrath. Gladly swallowed I the bitter consequences of your rebellion. You were cross-examined. The verdict was true. The law found you guilty. But mercy proves you innocent. I didn't just die naked for you. I died naked as you. So that you could live covered by me. Lord, it wonders me how you, who knew no sin, would become me, a sinner, so that I could become the righteousness of God. I love you. I loved you first. Therefore, there, there is, is now no condemnation, condemnation no, no guilty verdict, verdict no, no punishment, punishment for those, those who are in Christ Jesus. I am. You are free. free.